church I've ever seen. Nothing even remotely close. It took a hundred years to build that. It started in Victorian times. It was only like um, the late 20th century that it was touching. Christening font where they would do all the christening or infant baptism. This is an example of anagogic architecture. Yeah, absolutely. Right yeah. <laughs> but a Victorian take on it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's quite gothic though, isn't it? Yeah, it gives you a sense of yeah. awe. Yeah, Majesty. Um, and there's an atmosphere, isn't there? Uh, yes, there is. Lord, mistake for the presence of Absolutely. God if you didn't know that. You know the difference. You would, you would certainly think. So we used to come here for the Christmas Eve service every Christmas Eve, but um, we don't do that now. That sounds like Bach. I wonder if it is. Reminds me of something. Bach. Yes, this is the first altar that we do on the services. Way back then, it's called Bach. the original design they did they, 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 they were going to build two towers but in the end they, are, they must have run out of money or something I don't really know why it might tell you on that though so they actually only one tower they did with one tower it might tell you on here
200 feet, 116 feet high. See right in the hole. Yeah. That's very yeah. nice. Yeah. Yes, so they only ended up with one tower instead of two. Yes. Mm. Whether they ran to money out to don't know. Probably. And, was, and time. Unless the architecture didn't work. Building a cathedral shows the tools they use. Wow. This is it being constructed. Oh. Uh, the masons. Oh, wow. Yeah. That would have been a lot of work. Mm. Amazing craftsmanship, isn't it? Yes. Amazing. I don't see how they could do that mm. with just a hammer. You see, that detailed work on this site still continues, it's then. Wow. It's still under construction of some kind or other. Mm. Alpha and Omega. Yeah. Wow. So these are the two of them here. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. There it is going up. Yep, that's the tower then, isn't it? Yep. So what year did they complete it? Well, it wasn't completed, as I was saying before, it wasn't, it wasn't completed till the end of the 20th century, fully. But they're just saying, hey, it's, there's still work going on on it, so... I wonder what that is. It took over a hundred years to complete, from start to finish. Massive project. Absolutely. Yeah, this is far and away the most impressive building I've ever been in. I mean, I thought, I thought Windsor Castle was pretty awesome, but I think this takes that to another level. It's huge, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's just overpowering. It's so massive. You can get a better view of it. Just a uh, Anglican church in the country. I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. it is. Yeah. I think it used to be the largest in Europe, but I don't know whether it is now. Well, yeah. if it's the largest in Europe, it has to be the largest in the world. It's the Lady Chapel, that's very pretty. Oh, okay. It's a lot smaller. pattern of where they carved the, the stone. All done by hand. Huh? Yeah. 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 All chiseled by hand. Oh, I see. Hmm. More like a, a normal church yeah, sign. 
this is, yeah, this is about the size church. of the thing. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Mm. It's still quite big though, isn't it? Yeah, the, <laughs> built that's built down into it. That's massive. I would say our parish church in Warrington is about that size. I think, yeah. It's just like the main church of the town, the yeah. main Anakin church of the town. What is this uh, church called again? A parish church. Oh, I mean oh, this, this building? This, this is called Lady Chapel. And the, and the whole the whole thing? Anakin is just called Liverpool Anglican Cathedral. Liverpool Cathedral? Yeah, Anglican Cathedral. Liverpool Anglican Cathedral. Yeah. 